Greetings, I'm Demonac, and it's arena time. Alright, well, coming off a predictably bad warrior run, I mean, how much of that is my fault? Probably lots, but... Let's go, Priest. Let you down. Priests are good. Uh, not this row, though. I guess I'll take you, because your stats are okay. Your power is not fantastic. Um, crap, crap. And the Cogmaster could be good with if you have the mechs, obviously, but you're, you, in the arena, you're usually not going to have enough, that's for sure. Could try and go for Gargoyle Cheese, but how many buffs am I actually going to get as a priest? Can you really get it going? He can easily be just bad. So, if I take this, my entire deck's going to be four cost, though. Let's take the Lieutenant. There's that buff I need. <sighs> You're so bad. Can I take a circle of healing? This would easily just be not useful to me all the time, but these guys are way, way overpriced, so I guess we'll take this. See if something comes of it. Uh, Priest of the Feast is pretty cool. I don't know how many spells I'm going to have, because I tend to prioritize minions in the arena, but I mean, he's also got solid stats, but then there's also Thought Steal, which gives you more cards. Now, let's take the Priest. He's newer, whatever. Um, this is a dragon-based card. Am I likely to have dragons enough to make this work? Probably not. I mean, it's great card advantage, but no. We'll take... I don't know, light spawn? So dubious. I mean, Velen's Chosen would be cool on him, but... Let's just take the Haunted Creeper. I don't prioritize them very high. Uh, Ogre to smash things would be nice. Wow, it just wants to give me a million of these. I guess I'll take another one, because Maiden of the Lake's not that exciting, and the Anomaly is a one-drop. Like, just don't get excited by one-drops. You can kill stuff. You are much more of like a... Like, yes, the, the efficiency could be amazing, and my opponent's less likely to have really efficient means to kill it all the time in the arena. Nevertheless, I think that's too convoy. This just comes out and kills something and gives me a minion. Scare of... Okay, card looks pretty good, but well, I like Power Word Shield for card draw. I do. Um, okay, interesting. Random Beast Dragon and Murloc. This would actually give me a dragon for dragon-based stuff. Do I have any beasts yet? I do. The spider is a beast, so I could do that. Have spider out, I get a 4-4 and give it plus 2 plus 2. Entomb just solves a problem, though. Let's, let's just take the Entomb, whatever. I like Northshire. Mad Scientist is awesome, but obviously not for Priest. Pompous Thespian is actually fine. He's a perfectly solid pick, but let's uh, let's take the North Shark right. If we can draw one or two cards out of that in the arena, it's amazing. Easily, I'm going to have a million Priests of the Feast and not that many spells. I mean, I guess I can start prioritizing spell more, spells more. My deck's going to end up slow, though. Uh, let's take the Squirming Tentacle. As tempting as it is to try and go for a heavy spell deck with that. I mean, I'm already halfway through and I'm not that heavy spells. You come out and kill something, you also do, you cost a lot more and kill something slightly bigger, or can do more damage to my opponent. As a finisher, you get to have a finisher. Uh, I don't have that much, like, cheap stuff for killing things. You would be okay at, like, coming out and killing things. I didn't take the witch, so I don't need to prioritize beasts. But you're kind of, like, I mean, you're... Better than the Boulder Fist Ogre, in practice, in theory anyway. In practice, you, you, you give more stuff. You just require to have a guy out. But Panther does come out and kill something, just slightly slower. I'm going to take this. I think I don't want to make my deck more expensive with that kind of stuff, necessarily. If I am going to make my deck more expensive, a 10-10 is not a bad way for the arena. That's... I had a bunch of those last time. I mean, it's just being a 3-3 three, three for 3 is not great. The Tentacle I can work with more as a Priest. Let's let's take a Behemoth so I have something big to fall back on. Zubot. Did I even take any of... I didn't take any of these. I still got... No, I did. I did take... The, I've got two Beasts now. And the other end, this guy could work well with a Priest. I haven't played him in so long. Why not? Priest of Feast or a Spell. Not that excited that by that spell, not that excited by him either. This guy for one more doesn't have that ability. But I have hardly any spells, so I'm really not going to gain much life from these guys. Let's just take the Speckle Knight. He's kind of annoying. Uh, I put the Behemoth in my hand at the start of my turn, but it seems kind of silly. This, I don't have enough spells to cast for this. We'll take Forbidden Shaping. 
can randomly give you something good. It does fill in your mana curve. Uh, I have like no damage dealing spells, so we'll take the Dark Cultist of Solidness. Okay. Mind Control. Thought still just give me more cards. I'm going to take the Thought, like, the Arcano Smith is frankly actually pretty cool. I'm going to take the Thought Steel, though. It's going to give me more cards, and I do have two Priests of the Feast to try and feed. Um, I do like the idea of having the Arcano Smith, though. He also gives you a lot of stats. Uh, crap, crap, let's take Mind Vision. Again, Priest of the Feast. Make those spells good. We could take another Priest. Owl of the Science things would be good, but Velen's Chosen is probably better. Let's get another Thought Steel. So I've got an okay number of spells for those guys. Not enough to make it like, oh, they're going to be awesome, but... Another Arcanismus, my deck's going to be very 4-heavy. But again, I get, you get a lot of stats for this, as opposed to something small. Got some cheap cards, but not great. My early game's going to be really weak. Oh, whatever, let's take the Arcanismus and just try and tank through it. Get another thought steal, which is a ton of thought steals that I could be gaining life and blah blah blah. But no, I'm gonna take the stone, the trog. The two, the trog is very solid two drop, and having a good two drop would help. Vert, copy the minion in your hand, which is cool and interesting. Is it really what I want though? I wonder if I should take the mana rage, just to give me another two drop. And I know my deck is slow. I can usually probably just trade him and get him killed. Mind control tech's pretty good though, especially since I'm gonna get myself behind by my deck being bad. And good. heal twice a turn. I hate you, you're crap. And confuse is interesting. Almost all my minions are like defensive based. It would turn them kind of aggressive. It can do a surprising amount of damage to an opponent that way. It's just working a lot of weird situations, but no, I, I like the idea of having another 2-3 two, for 2, and later in the game he lets me heal twice. He's actually pretty solid for that, even though the Confuse would be more exciting. Okay, we have some kind of a Priest deck. I have a bunch of Thought Steals and stuff like that. Like, if my opponent does not get a good sort of rush going, I might be able to stabilize and do control decky sort of things a little, although I'd have... I don't have enough for killing things. I just kind of have a whole bunch of, like, four-cost minions, and I'm hoping that my priestess will keep them going. I don't know. The Priest of the Feast does help to counteract Rush somewhat, if things work out right for him. Ooh, this is an expensive starting hand. I mean, I'm likely to get a lot of four-plus-cost stuff, but please give me a two-drop. Ooh. Wow. The no minion hand, that's what I needed. My next card would be a 2 3 for, th for 3. Nope. I mean, he has a good chance, a better chance than most of living long enough to get Velen's Chosen up to a uh, friggin' 6 6. That's some potential. But, uh. Not ideal. Oh god damn it! This is terrible. Why couldn't I have gone second? I had the coin. Could have like coined him out, then the next turn Bellin's chosen six six. Get smashed. That'd be terrible. Can I armor up my guy with that. Okay, let's get him out so I have something out. I know Atron's gonna really stop him, but I mean, I could power word shield him so he's less likely to just die from that stuff, and then. Ugh, this is terrible. I actually just need to draw a Priest of the Feast. Someday I'll be just like you. Oh god. I'm getting, like, constructed quality rushed here. So I have no area spells or anything. This is not ideal. I'm getting the Priest of the Feast now, just to annoy me? Nope, not even. Some spells. Um, those are some solid minions, but I'm going to get really beat down here. So there's a giant army of doom. My guy's targetable now. There's no reason to expect this to go well at all. Don't worry, loves. The cavalry's here. That's pretty bad. 
If I had a Holy Nova, this could easily be like, game over, I win. But instead, looking a lot more like game over, I lose. Uh, just gonna get obliterated. Job done. Could have played this and healed myself, but he dies to Annoyatron. I'd like the Annoyatron to be killed somehow, even you though that's not gonna happen. It. Oh, that's what I needed you to have a, a guy with really high offense that can hide behind Annoyatron and gives you more card advantage. Because I was doing so well. Yeah, I mulliganed into all spells all the time. Not even a priest of the beast. Probably just gonna die. This would have been supremely useful earlier on. You know, early in the game. There's a really high chance that would have survived long enough for me to Velen's chosen, but then I would have had like a two drop somewhere in the first three turns, four turns, which is clearly not the situation. Infinite card advantage in case my opponent had not already guaranteed a win. Not going for the kill, because of course you have infinite card advantage, you're not concerned. Like, I can't even break through that. Awesome. Well, now we can. Now I die. Because I've got nothing. My opponent has seven damage. Sorry, yeah, seven damage on the board. Cast one spell, that's automatically plus one damage. Or just do anything else with seven mana to get. Sorry, with five mana to get one more damage. <sighs> Someday I'll be just like you. Five mana when your spells cost two less. And dead. Um, you are going to leave me at one unless you have something in your hand. You did the math poorly, it was a stupid choice. Now, in practice, I can't actually come back, but you still made a stupid decision. Uh, I don't what? think there's anything this could Dad, possibly draw, draw me that would help. Nope. We Go deck go! So this was a great stupid loss. And the opponent appears to be wasting time. I'm going to concede in about, I don't know, five, four. Okay, I'm going to do things. You're allowed to do things. So you're not going to concede unless you demonstrate that you're deliberately wasting your time. I think you just misjudged or thought that it wasn't important to finish me last turn at one hit point. But uh, anyway, I don't know. I have a lot of stuff that costs three or less. It would have been like I have a lot of minions that cost three or less in practice once we got to the end. So that was just incredibly terrible draw mulligan draw. Presumably I'll be able to do a little better than that next time. If you enjoyed this, please activate the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to Demonet Games for more Hearthstone Arena and other gaming videos.